Periodic trends, specifically electronegativity and ionization energy, can be further described by looking at valence diagrams. You may remember that the valence electrons are the outermost S and any partially filled sublevels. So here is the valence band of mystery elements A and B. What this means is there's a nucleus down here. There may be some core electrons that are not shown. And the valence band, where the highest energy electrons are, and additional empty orbitals above are shown. Our question asks, which element has the highest first ionization energy? Remember that for ionization energy, you need to picture grabbing an electron and removing it from the area of the nucleus. So the highest first ionization energy is the one that has the electron that's most difficult to remove. I believe that answer is A, because the electron is closer to the nucleus, and therefore we need to work harder to drag that electron away from the sphere of influence of the nucleus. Which element is the least electronegative? This means which element is least attractive to an incoming electron. So we're going to look at the vacancies. A has a vacancy here, and B has a vacancy here. And we want to know which of these two vacancies is least attractive to the electron. And I think that answer would be B, because the vacancy is further away from the nucleus. So let's make this a slightly more challenging problem by having three mystery elements. We want to list the atoms in order of increasing first ionization energy. Now remember that ionization energy means we are going to remove an electron. So when we think about this, let us circle one of these electrons for A, the only electron available for B, and which electron do you think I should circle for C? The one closer to the nucleus or further from the nucleus? Well, the electron further from the nucleus is the one that is lost first. So if we want increasing first ionization energy, and we are picturing dragging these electrons to the ceiling, I believe that the lowest one would be C, followed by B, followed by A. This question asks us to list the atoms in order of increasing electronegativity. So electronegativity is equal to the attraction for an electron. So that means the electron has to come into a vacancy. Well, if I look at A, I can't add any electrons to the lower energy orbital. My first vacancy would be right here. For B, each orbital can have two electrons with opposite spin, so the vacancy is there. And for C, that would be my vacancy. So remembering that the nucleus is down here, which one of these is least attractive for the electron? Meaning it is furthest from the nucleus. Well, I hope that you will say A. Your next one would be C, and the one that is most attractive to the electron would be mystery element B. So here are your questions. Choose the most electronegative atom. And for this, you need to look for vacancies. So I will help you by adding a vacancy here, a vacancy here, a vacancy here, and a vacancy here. I call this the circle and box technique. The empty boxes represent the vacancies. So which one of these would the electron be happiest with? Because it can get closest to the nucleus. This is the exact same diagram for this next question, except now we need to choose the least electronegative atom. 
While you're thinking, I will add the boxes. And this next question asks, choose the atoms with the lowest first ionization energy. This time, one is thinking about removing an electron. So we will circle here, 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 and here. And of course, we're thinking about removing them to the ceiling. So which one would have the lowest ionization energy? This last one asks, choose the atoms with the highest first ionization energy. So while you are thinking, I will circle the pertinent electrons. 